Hi, traveler. You might be wondering how I got this many primogems, since it got many views. If you believe it or not, I am an F2P player since 2020. I had also became a broke player back then. Since many of you ask questions like this, I am going to show you some of how I get my primogems. First, the daily commissions. Trust me, even if it's only small amount, it makes a difference. Second, events like these has big amounts of primogems. So make sure to make time for it, as it is only has limited time. Third, World Explorations. On World Explorations, you can get many chests, time trials, and other puzzles that has chests as rewards. I know it's tiring to do this, but if you want free primos, you can do it ha 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 ha. Fourth, Level Up Trees. These give some intertwined things. And some primogens. These trees takes a while to accomplish. But every tree has a fruit of labor hop. Fifth, Shrine of Depth. You can get luxurious chests when you open these. Sixth, Domains. These kinds of domains gives you primogens and keys to Shrine of Depth. Seventh, Serenity Pot Companion. Outdoor sets. Whenever you finish an outdoor set with a distinct character, it'll give you 20 primos. Eighth, TCG. These gives you 60 primogens. Whenever you level up, I don't play TCG anymore. So it's up to you if you want to get this. And lastly, Spiral Abyss. I also don't play Spiral Abyss, since I just play on a regular basis. And Spiral Abyss is not part of my routine. I hope that this video helped you in some way. But if not, it's alright. You can just figure it out by yourself, Hal. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can just leave it on the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer it. Have fun playing and Fontaine is coming. It means it'll be raining primos again.